A Merry Christmas. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's Mass is being offered for a priest of eternity. He was a, a 76-year-old a French priest, I believe he was 76, George, I think, Falaron, who, uh, who uh, we just got notice, I think he died yesterday. So the second collect is for his soul. So please remember him in your prayers. Uh, priest judgment is far more severe than the judgment of a lay person when we have to appear before the throne of God. We've been given so much responsibility. We've been given a lot more graces to accomplish them. But you can see the kind of job we're doing by looking at the world we're in. So a priest certainly needs a lot of prayers in general so that they do their duty and in particular uh, for our particular judgment. In the gospel, we see it, it, uh, it recorded to us that Our Lady pondered all these things in her heart. That's what the kind of thing we're supposed to do with the words of our Lord. The words from sacred scripture. These are living words that God has given to us. And how often it is that people just have a, a Bible, you go over there, you think you need to dust it off. It's like a decoration. It's something that we should employ. It will be to our great shame at our judgment, at the final judgment, when we see how many people that didn't have the true faith put more stock in the Bible than Catholics. It's kind of amazing to me at times. It doesn't mean you have to memorize it or something like that, but you should certainly spend time in the Scriptures, pondering those things in your heart, pondering the Scriptures you hear at Holy Mass. What is the message every day in the Scriptures for you? Because there is one every day in the Scriptures. Not just what the priest says or whatever, but there's something in there for you. And you should ask every day before you come to Holy Mass, what is it that you want me to hear? What is it that you want me to think on today, Lord? And if you get in that habit, he will let you know. Ask Our Lady for the grace to ponder the Word of God in your heart. Thank you.